makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. I don't usually have many positive things to say about Joe Biden, but today, I must admit, his uh, calling of Peter Ducey a stupid son of a bitch was an absolute fucking king move, okay? Um, and I, I love it just because it's gotten the right wing, uh, they're completely batshit insane right now because they're trying to make the equivalence between this comment and uh, Trump's very frequent attacks on the press. And I'm going to explain to you why that's not uh, even remotely comparable. So for, uh, first of all, let's watch the, uh, the clip. It, this is just really funny. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a Oh, uh, that was just brilliant. So, um, apparently that was, uh, he wasn't aware that the, that the mic was hot. Um, but, uh, you know, first of all, it's objectively true. Uh, Peter Ducey is in fact a stupid son of a bitch, uh, as is his dad, Steve Ducey, both of whom are, you know, Fox News, uh, hosts. Uh, or reporters, whatever you want to call them. I mean, Peter Ducey has quite a record of going on the, uh, you know, White House press conferences and saying the most ridiculous questions you can possibly imagine. So, um, yeah, he is pretty bad as a journalist. Um, now, obviously, there is an issue of decorum here. Uh, while I do admit that this was a pretty, like I said, a pretty uh, based comment um i don't think the president should be uh, in the habit of calling reporter son of a bitch um and you know the difference between what biden just did and what trump recurrently did during four years is very different so first of all this was a hot mic incident uh, it appears that joe biden was unaware that the the mic was on um, and made a comment, not expecting other people to uh, to hear it. Now, politicians uh, are, are free to have whatever opinion they have of anyone else. They are free to think that other people are stupid son of a bitches, etc., etc., etc. Again, I don't think that th it should be a habit of calling reporters, um, even by mistake. Um, and he probably should have Consider the possibility of like not saying that um, in public because uh, he could have been overheard as well. Even if the mic wasn't hot, he could have been overheard. Now, Joe Biden did something that Trump never did after four years of insulting the press, and that is he apologized, uh, you know, by Peter Ducey's own admission. Uh, he received a call from Joe Biden shortly afterwards where he apologized for his comments. Uh, Trump never apologized for anything that he said. Now, um, let's look at the reaction from the right, because uh, I think this is really kind of funny. First was this comment from uh, Representative Jim Banks, uh, Republican, obviously. Have we ever seen a president attack and malign the free press like Joe Biden has? It's amazing that this tweet uh, was done unironic. Now, there's been some people who have made ironic comments about this, but honestly, Republicans uh, at this point are such gigantic hypocrites that uh, I don't think uh, they're, they're capable of, of any sense of irony. So I, I have reason to suspect that this was done with a straight face. Um, and people obviously re replied to some of the more egregious things that Trump did when he was... Uh, uh, president, you know, he uh, berated, especially female reporters, which he had uh, definitely issues with uh, women challenging him in any way. Uh, you had this incident with one reporter, uh, which he mocked his disability, which was this was really disgusting, like really, really disgusting. 
And remember, these were not hot mic incidents. These were deliberate insulting, berating, ridiculing reporters, uh, insulting, berating, and ridiculing uh, media establishments as a whole, which again, I think, you know, for all the criticism that the failing New York Times, uh, and I am I'm certainly one to constantly criticize the, uh, the terrible reporting from the liberal centrist media. Um, I don't think as a president, you should make a, a habit of, of doing the things that Trump did over those four years. Uh, I, I don't think that is the way to, to run a democracy, even if you think the media is, uh, is against you. Um, yeah. So again, this, these were not hot mic incidents. These were deliberate. He was on stage in a rally. Uh, mocking someone who had a disability. This is not comparable to a hot mic incident. And again, right wingers uh, are pointing out the uh, alleged hypocrisy of you know the, the the liberal media complaining over those four years about Trump. And and I, to some extent, I do agree that the liberal media focused way too much on Trump and way too little on every other structural issue that the United States had. Um, the obsession with Trump was just uh, over the top and ridiculous. I agree. But still, this does not mean that the, uh, the criticism of his handling of the media was a legitimate one. And this also doesn't mean that you can simply equate a hot mic incident uh, and, and you know, a comment specific to one reporter, to the way that Trump for four years uh, systematically attacked the press, uh, or at least the press that that uh, that he didn't like. Uh, so no, it's not the same. It's absolutely not the same. And uh, you know, these uh, you know people like Sagar and Jetty are trying to get some uh, you know cheap gotcha here by by making this false equivalent. But no, it is not the same. And you know, I'm I'm saying this as someone who is really struggling right now to say anything positive about Joe Biden. Uh, but on this issue, uh, 100%, uh, I think the way he handled this is not nearly comparable to what Trump did. You know, not only in the, the degree of offense that it, that was caused, um, because like I said, this was a private comment that got caught in a hot mic. Uh, and again, one bad comment made by against one reporter is not comparable to four years of systematic attacks against the press. Now, you can criticize the Biden administration for not being as, uh, you know, he, you can claim that uh, compared to Trump, he hasn't treated the media as, as badly. Sure, uh, there's other aspects that need to be considered in terms of the commitment of the Biden administration to free press. You know, clear example, uh, why isn't Assange uh, pardoned yet? So this idea that, you know, the, the Democrats uh, might not be rhetorically uh, against the free press the way that Trump was during those four years, um, but they are in practice in other ways just as bad. So that is one critique that I think we need to keep in mind. Uh, but again, this this specific issue, the issue, the specific issue of using your platform as president uh, to, you know, berate, insult and ri ridicule reporters or media establishments. There is just no comparison between this comment and what Trump did during those four years. And. Uh, this particular uh, account I've seen a lot of has has gone on a roll uh, over the past 24 hours um, just uh, posting the um, you know uh, liberal sites like Occupy Democrats um, making comments tweeting things about what Trump did back then and then comparing their comment their reaction to the the son of a bitch incident here uh, again this is complete failure of understanding the difference of, of what's going on. And uh, it, it is a false equivalence. Ultimately, it is a false equivalent. 
Again, Trump explodes in vile rant against reporter for asking him to speak to scared Americans. Again, completely different to a hot mic incident. Um, Jennifer Rubin. Uh, I'm not going to. She's awful. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's it's uh, it's funny to see the reaction. Again, I, I don't want to sound like I'm defending Biden. I don't want to sound like I'm defending the liberal media establishment. But the fact of the matter is these two situations are vastly different. Um, but in the meantime, awesome move because Peter Ducey is awful. So uh, on that note, if you like this video, please like, please share. Most importantly, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.